Good pacing. That should be good for the baby. A nice little jog. Get jostled around in there. Lying to your significant other. What an amazing thing to do. Uh, I look away for five seconds and I got robbed. She stole my freaking bathtub. I Hey guys, it's TVGP, and today we are back with The Sims 3 Lepercy Lepercy. First of all, thank you guys for all like, subscribe, if you use the comments and all the good stuff. Thank you guys so much for everything, and thank you. So, um, last time we left off, Abigail is pregnant, and pregnant, of course, not with her, um, Thornton's child, but Jared's child. So, probably? Yeah, Jared's child, that makes more sense. Yeah, so, yep, it's a questionable time. She's currently cooking spaghetti for breakfast because she wants spaghetti for breakfast. That's completely fine. Uh, next, she's going to actually eat ice cream right after so we can get rid of this wish. She wants to have a baby boy. I'm going to let nature take its course, though, so if not, we'll just have a second child. I have yet to fix up her house because I waited until we have $30,000. With $30,000, I could do a major upgrade to her house, expand it a bit, and stuff like that. And because she has actually a lot of time on her hand, so it's cleaning the house. You want to make a new outfit for yourself? She wants to buy a crib. I have absolutely no space for a crib. Not a single speck of space. Ah, oh, dude, I really don't have space for anything here. Uh, let me see. Uh, where is the cribs at? Let's see where we can shove a crib until, <laughs> until further notice. Uh, we're just gonna get the generic crib in yellow. Uh, nope, we can't shove it there. We can't shove it there. We can't shove it here. There's legitimately no space to shove the crib. This is gonna be crazy, but we're just gonna buy it and put it outside for now. And then we're gonna put in our family inventory. Well, now we have the money to, re to build the house, but of course I'm gonna do that off camera. Uh, I might have to build a little indent somewhere just so I can fit. Like maybe it just expand this wall for the time being without fixing it. So there's some space in the room for the baby. She wants to make a new outfit for herself. We're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna read a pregnancy book. I'm sure we have it somewhere we never bought one that's that's grand isn't it so we're gonna go ahead to the bookstore you know she is so excited for this baby he wants a promotion then work hard work hard if you want a promotion and then you can get one then you could be somewhat successful like your girlfriend they're not married yet i gotta refrain from saying wife she knew it was wrong wrong but right everybody's writing books Gunther has- we're gonna have to buy a Gunther- we're gonna have to buy a Gunther goth book. The Frick? Yo! He makes trashy novels and I love that. Okay, we're just gonna buy- oh wait, we're looking for a pregnancy book actually. Um, there you go. And then we decided to buy Gunther's books because we found out he had some. She's gonna actually sit outside and read the pregnancy book. Totally preggards. Blatant lies. Oh, okay, these books- are having errors for some reason. Cornelia! She just came and sat down next to me and then left. Uh, that's great. Cobbler with grapes. I gotta find out where we can buy cobbler. We can get some takeout, I guess. All right, she's paid $1,000 for time off. Wow, we have a lot of money. $500, I don't really wanna do that right now. Have father read the book. Yeah, no, I don't think I have my family secrets. What is going on over here? I don't think I have the family secrets mod in currently. Um, because, uh, I don't feel like it. Um, she's just gonna- who are you? Still McGraw. Uh, okay, she's just gonna go talk to these people, cause- Oh my gosh, that was Jared. Yo, what is going on? Who are you going- Oh my gosh! That's freaking Boyd, I can't stand Boyd. Um, let's see. I don't know. What's her cooking skill at? It's pretty high. I don't think we can make cobbler yet, but it's pretty high. I don't think she can go. Wait, she can jog? Then we're jogging back home. What the heck? She loves exercise. That's her favorite thing to do, apparently. Uh, we're gonna jog back home. Good pacing. That should be good for the baby. A nice little jog. Get jostled around in there. No, that's not how it works, I know. Okay, so this is her jogging pregnant. 
Girly, this is not jogging. You're just walking. Pregnant. I'm sorry, but the way she's looking at this man, she's just like, mm mm. No. I don't know who this man is. I need to look. Oh, it's him. He's still harassing people. We're not flirting with someone. Uh, this is gonna take her a minute. Let's <laughs> take her a little bit more than a minute. Uh, he's meeting his coworkers, but he's not having fun. How are you gonna get to the top of the corporate ladder if you're not, um, putting in the work? Like, how are you gonna make it to the top? You gotta hustle, you know? I can't even take myself seriously trying to speak like, um, hustle culture. Alright, she's gonna go ahead and pay the bills. Okay, let's see. Mortimer has been flirting with Tamara Donner. Oh, that's not good. Not on his case. And he's just gonna eat some of that. People saying he's. Why are you gossiping about Mortimer? What is wrong with you? He wants to learn a skill. Uh, sure. You can learn an athletic skill. He's gonna do some cardio exercise. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you can clean up. Go ahead and eat. Go ahead and feed Levi because Levi deserves his everyday feeding. She's going to go ahead and take herself a shower. And then I we have a mod for ordering takeout, so. Yo, y'all are literally breaking everything. Oh my gosh. Maybe I can't order takeout. I thought I had that mod, but I guess I don't. So I'm going to have to get rid of this. Oh my gosh, the house is broken. She's going to repair it. It's fine. She knows what she's doing because she is more handy. More, way more handy. Then this doofus who ain't doing nothing. You better get into yoga. Dude, he went out and broke up the entire house. Y'all know how I feel about Thornton. And because no one has any recommendations of what I should do with Thornton. Oh my. Um, she's going to serve herself some more spaghetti. Because I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Oh, <laughs> oh wait. Never mind. She doesn't need spaghetti. She's going to sleep. Because literally frick Thornton. Uh, dude, go ahead. Do your thing. They're going to bed. Bro, he's 43. Alrighty, what does she want to do? She wants to prepare a meal and she's very very pregnant today. That's Wow, uh, she's gonna go ahead and serve some pancakes She wants a massage. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done today Uh, where is the spa? It's over here. Okay, get a massage. She's just gonna get a quick shiatsu massage He has work or not. No, he does not have work today. Yes, of course not I'm actually going to have him go to the... Oh, he wants to take a class in at athletic anyway. So he's going to go ahead and do that. Answer your phone. Before you go ahead and go out. I guess, sure. Okay, he's cleaning the house. That's very nice of him. Even though he hates kids. You know what? It kind of makes sense that the child isn't his. Since he hates children... But at the same time, he doesn't really know that the child isn't his. We're going to assume, based off of real life, that he wouldn't particularly know. Since she is out of the house, he does want to invite somebody over. So we're going to invite over Pauline. You know, let's learn about her. Why? Oh, sure. Dang, she's like, I want to spend more money at the day spa. Sure, we will go ahead and get a package. Of course. She will go ahead and get a package. We'll get the great escape. There's so many people here. There's Judy Bunch, Vita, Jack, Darlene, and Arlo. I don't know why y'all are dressed like that, though. And y'all, I have a mod to get rid of pigtails. Everybody has pigtails. She's so pregnant right now. She may be pregnant, but she is so pretty. Look at that. She's literally so happy to speak to Cornelia. I can just tell you. She's like, yeah, I'm having a baby. Is that a good thing? Probably not. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, we can definitely do that. Okay, did Pauline come over here? Ask Pauline about career. Is she here? Okay, so she brought her baby. Uh, okay. We're going to go ahead and ask her about her career. That's what he's interested in doing. Going to ask her her sign, ask if single, even though he just invited you over to his girlfriend's house where he's currently living. She's ambitious. Uh, impressed. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh gosh. Anyway. Any romances? Oh dang, she is single. Any romances, girly? Besides him? You're the only one. Yo, 
and you're probably who whose kid is this uh it's not his obviously because you don't have any shockingly um risky woohoo because he has commitment issues yeah that's not gonna happen he's gonna hold her hands yikes um i don't even know why i did that actually i was complaining about this man i could have him clean up his act for some reason i chose not to do that i i do not know a 10 movie with date somber bloomings uh she's the baby is coming oh my gosh uh, uh, i didn't think the baby was coming i was like why is she not doing like good thing i always take the wrong screenshots um why is she doing what she's supposed to oh this random child who are you oh he's doris oh she is doris yikes oh okay we're gonna go to the hospital of course you know it's really funny she's going to a hospital and her oh she just decided to walk hi monica she decided to walk to the hospital oh my gosh jared came jared came here to be with her during this Dude, this is such a yikes moment. He's out on a date with a lady. Oh, we actually had a baby boy. Okay. Her name's Abigail, and she's dating Thornton, but this is Jared's child. I, well, I, I'm straight up thinking. Hold on. Give me a second. So I'm a horrible individual. His name's going to be Killian. Um, Killian apparently means strife. Uh, so we're just going to do that. We're going to have him be brave. Oh, man. I should have put my um expansion pack in. Oh, dude. I forgot. We're gonna have him be brave and evil. Okay, no, we won't make him evil, but we'll make him brave. Should we though? We'll make him brave and a genius for the time being. This baby's gonna look like her. Ew, what the frick's going on with his eyes? Bro, kiddo, he's terrifying. But honestly, he always is terrifying, so. He's so pale! There, she just gave birth to the baby, and now she wants to get married. That's perfect. Yo, dude. Yo, dude. He's gonna have to end this day, and he's like, oh my gosh, she gave birth to the baby. Look, we're just gonna roleplay, okay? We're gonna roleplay and act like he thinks the baby's his, but it's not. It's actually Jared. So, uh, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Yep. Lying to your significant other. What an amazing thing to do. Uh, let me stop. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not like he's not lying to her either. We're going to extend this room a little bit for now. And then, of course, we will come ahead and fix up the house, actually. There we go. Look, you can barely tell the difference. There you go. And now I can put the crib that I bought. Since it's a boy, we can actually buy a different type of crib. So she just unironically had a boy. I think that's funny. There we go. All right, there we go. She's not a sad beige mother. No, not at all. But she's a peach mother. She likes the color peach. So if it's going to be in her bedroom, it has to be peach. So Killian. Hi, Killian. Hi, Killian. Okay, Killian. She's going to go... Killian Lee Percy, who looks genuinely terrified. She does not look like she just gave birth to a baby at all. I'm not even joking. Like, look at her. She's so freaking pretty. And then she's just like, I have just birthed this child. Uh, look at her. Mother and child. Mother and child. Anyway, she's gonna go play with her baby. Nimmy nimmy the baby. Look at that pale, ghostly child. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that truly great? Jared, get out of my house. Look, I know it's your child too, but we're going to have to get you out of here. We're going to have to... Wait, or is he leaving on his own? He's going to come home. It's just Jared left. He's nauseous from... Bro, what the freak? I stopped paying attention to you for five seconds. He's going to come home and be like, Oh, you gave birth to the baby. Oh, that's so cool. Even though, look at her. Nurturing the lovely little child. Enjoying her newfound motherhood. I gotta stop doing that. Uh, newfound motherhood. And he does not care. He hates children. But he thinks the child is his. Uh, even though it looks like her. So I guess, what can you say? 
Oh, dang, girl, no, don't do it. I don't know if she just snapped into her senses. I have absolutely no idea. But she was like, yeah, it's time to accuse him of cheating. I'm sorry. I find this so funny that she's doing this right after she had the baby. And that is the most hypocritical, freaking hypocritical thing she could do. Because, because she just gave birth to another man's baby. I mean, and it was conceived. The child, the child was conceived after they started dating. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to get a good image, but it's so hard when I can't freaking see anything. She accused him of cheating. And you know what? He can't lie. He just went on a date with another woman while he, she was giving birth. Uh, even, oh my, I always take the wrong screenshots. Fight? Upset? Girl, we aren't, we are not, should we? Oh my gosh, now she's betrayed. You think, you know what? Oh my gosh! I did not mean the set. <sighs> Girl, come on, you just gave birth. She wants to fight him. We'll recover our relationship, I promise. But uh, right now, she feels like fighting him because he betrayed her. I find it the most hypocritical thing ever. I do not know what to say about this situation. Uh, it was all caused by me. But, um, yeah, this is going to be dramatic. This is going to be dramatic as heck. I'm sorry. She wanted to fight. She didn't want to win. Win a fight against Thornton. I don't... Their relationship is so bad right now. It is so freaking bad. Oh my freaking gosh. Can we do a smooth recovery? Yes, we're gonna do a smooth recovery. Oh my gosh, she has to throw up. Okay, okay. He wants to woohoo with her, thinking that that's gonna bring them back together. Oh my, oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Anyway, we're gonna just try to recover this. We're gonna do a smooth recovery. Let's try to recover this relationship. Look, it was a heat of the moment fight. She did not want that smooth recovery. Um, okay. I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, no! This relationship is never going to recover from this. Sure. And he's talking to one of the ladies that he was cheating on her with. On the phone. Dude, go take a shower, too. I don't know. You're going to have to sleep on the couch. She is not going to let you sleep on the bed. Rip. <laughs> rip. Double rip. Okay, she's going to take care of her baby, too. Um, oh heck no. Oh heck to the no. You are not sleeping in the bed, bro. Oh, I thought I had a mod that, oh my gosh, I didn't put it back in the game. You just gotta have to sleep on the couch. Cause, uh, she's so freaking mad at him. She's literally betrayed. Maybe one day they can reconsider, cons 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 they, they, they can, um, what is it? Reconcile. It's gonna have to wait though. That reconciles gonna have to work. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get freaking um child support. Yeah, he's just got to sleep on the couch for now. That's crazy. One minute. Oh, somebody stole. Well, um, uh, they're gonna sleep. Bruh! I look away for five seconds and I got robbed. She stole my freaking bathtub. I and I can't do anything. I look away for five seconds and this this wench didn't even call the guy. Thorne is slowly but surely becoming an even worse person in <sighs> I have to buy a whole new bathtub. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, we just got freaking robbed. That's great. You freaking wench. Go ahead and sleep in the gut. This is why you deserve to sleep on the couch. I'm not even joking. I don't care if you have work. Sleep on the couch. This guy is just napping on the floor. Alright, she's gonna go feed Levi and go ahead and serve some pancakes. She's not talking to Thornton today, not until this goes off. Because she is so mad that he betrayed her romantically. Even though she did the same thing. It's the pot calling the kettle black. Oh my gosh, she's interacting with the baby. He's interacting with the baby. I guess he's just like, Shh, the child shouldn't struggle from our relationship issues. I literally gotta solve these issues so they can get married.
Because obviously I'm not going to cheat again. Oh my gosh, Pauline! You know, you're the one who made the relationship go shower. But I guess it doesn't matter to her. If he'd Levi again, she's going to leave the house. She's like, watch the baby. I'll be back. I don't really want to think leaving him with the baby sounds like a great idea, but whatever. Yep, there it goes. I wonder. There, yeah, there you go. He's going to go ahead and practice yoga after this. While she's going to do the plumbing thing that I apparently said I do. Then she's coming right back home to her baby. And we'll try to recover the relationship with um, Thornton. Oh my gosh, I didn't think it was going to end so bad. I'm also mad that I got freaking robbed when I wasn't paying attention. Oh, there you go. Uh, put away leftovers. Where's my baby? My baby's doing okay. Pretty okay, actually. She's going to go ahead and bathe him. Coo at, feed him, snuggle, talk to. There you go. Because I love my baby. I mean, I love him, but I love my baby. There she goes. Sorry, I just like that she's cleaning the baby with clothes on. Isn't that, oop, isn't that adorable? Super cute. Washing the baby. The disgustingly pale baby. Oh, he wants to go jogging. Uh, sure, eventually. So she's not sleeping in the bed. He's gonna actually come and do that. Actually, before, let's try to re -recon -recon reconcile. Bro, oh my freaking gosh. I just love that she loves her baby so much. She loves her baby so much. Let's feed Levi again so Levi... Oh. We're gonna feed Levi and then we're gonna talk to him. We're going to. Can't really apologize. We're gonna ask him about his day. I feel like that's the most cordial thing you could do to somebody you don't really like anymore. Point out her flaws? I'm gonna fight him. Uh, special commitment issues break up. Oh my freaking! Abigail! Abigail! Girl. Y'all can't even make a smooth recovery. That's how bad this has gotten. Uh, we're gonna try to flatter him. Should we try to move? Maybe that could help, but I don't know. It depends. Oh my gosh, are they really gonna do this? Yeah, maybe we should wait. I I'm gonna let them go and shower and bathe and do their thing because uh, this is obviously not gonna end well for anybody involved. Oh my gosh. Look who came. Also, yes, I cheated up her, her energy a little bit um, because she can't sleep in the bed yet. I don't want her to pass out. Look who came to visit her. Uh, we're gonna flatter him. We're gonna discuss work. We're gonna chat. She's not having a good time, obviously. So we're just gonna chat with a- we're gonna chat with him. I think he should wake up. Yeah, since you're in the house, you should take care of the child whom you think is yours. So she's gonna feed him, change his diaper, snuggle. If you hear anything, my dog is just- I don't know why she's barking. I thought they were fighting. Speak poorly. Oh my gosh, can I do it? Speak poorly of Thornton. She's just like, Thornton freaking sucks. You know that, right? And he's like, yeah, dude, Thornton is trash. You could be only saying that for a reason, but we're going to boast about our car. We're going to express humiliation. It's eth about cooking. All right. Just because I want to be dramatic after he's done eating. Dude, stop making fun of her. Get out of my house. Get out of here. If you're not gonna listen, you're not gonna listen to what she's saying and her complaining, then you are pointless. Go to bed. You're going back to sleeping on the couch. Thank you very much. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try in this episode to recover. Oh, this episode's long. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll see you guys in the morning. Girl, what? You have to go to work? You just had a baby! God dang it, we have to leave Killian, Killian alone. You know what? Y'all are hugging at girls. Don't you dare end it here. I'm gonna end it here. <laughs>
<laughs> this video is probably extremely long. I've been playing for a while now. So uh, with that much said, yeah, things have gotten more dramatic than I had originally thought they would have. So yeah, uh, for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Things are a bit too dramatic for me. I will see you a lot next time. And bye bye Oh, I might also play off camera a little bit. <laughs> Thank you.